let's continue on. Let's continue on. Let's continue on with the story of Semi Ride Love Bout Party. Okay, warriors, welcome back. Let's do this. Okay. Hey, you're spilling. You're spilling. Saizo sighs loudly at Lord Yukimura and reaches out to grasp the tipping flask. Saizo, listen to my stories the way Yahiko does. I said I'm listening. Yeah, right. You can't hide anything from me. Got it? Hmm? Wow, Lord Yukimura is definitely drunk. However, seeing how close the two men are honestly warms my heart. I cannot help but hope that p the peace of this night lasts forever. As I think about it, I suddenly find myself curious about Saizo as well. Um, Saizo, do you feel the same way as Lord Yikimura? Hmm, me? Nah, I'm just here because it's part of my job. Lord Yukimura laughs at his indifferent response. That's like you. Thanks. Their simple exchange conveyed the wealth of trust between the two of them. A samurai and a ninja. They've been together so long despite their differing positions and ideas. I've already learned so much since coming here. What? I watched the moon as well, but suddenly realized that I feel quite drowsy. If you hear talking in the background, that's my sister and her boyfriend and her kids. Don't mind them. Lord Yukimura, it's about time for me to be heading back to my room. What? You're already going to bed? Yes, but to... You two enjoy yourself. Sorry to intrude. What the hell is that about? Stop acting so damn enthusiastic, would you? Saizo, don't be rude. Be careful on your way back, Huron. Can you get down on your own? Lord Yukimura smiles gently, full of honest concern. I am th thankful for it. Of course. Yes, I should be. Then good night. What? 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 Why did I? I cut off. Why did it cut off? It cut me off for some reason. Stupid dogs barking. Okay, so. The moment I try to stand, a surprisingly intense pain shoots through my leg. Ow. Careful. Lord Yukimura, fast on his feet, reaches out to grab me before I fall off the roof. He does catch me, barely by wrapping his arm around my chin. <laughs> his hand is resting in a very interesting place. <clears throat> Hey. Ah. I whirl around and slap Lord Yukimura hard. The sound of it echoed through the night. He stares at me stunned, his hand pressed to his reddening cheek. No, no way, Yahiko. You're... He tries to take a few f faltering steps away from me until... Whoa. He suddenly vanishes. <laughs> Lord Yukimura. I run to the edge of the roof and look over. Lord Yukimura is laying on his back in the garden below. His hand still frozen as if it was when I slapped him. <laughs> I look over my shoulder and see Saizo. Shoulders shaking with laughter. <laughs> this isn't funny. Yukimura lived through worse. He's fu <laughs> fine. <laughs> he continues laughing, unable to hold it back. 
I turn away from him and look back down at Lord Yukimura. He still has yet to stand up for, for some reason. This is totally my fault, so now what? My eyes blur with confused and embarrassed tears. I should at least make sure he's not injured. Despite the pain in my ankle, I start making my way down the ladder, like making my way downtown, walking fast. Da, 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 da. Diddly, 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 diddly. Okay, I'll stop. Anyways, but the garden is suddenly much noisier than I remember. The drunken men have made their way outside because of all of the commotion. They grow even louder when they notice Lord Yukimura sprawl on the ground. L Lord Yukimura, what are you doing passed out in the garden? Hey, is that Yahiko over there? They've noticed me. Even if I come down, I'm so upset that I won't be able to explain things well in the least. Not caring about my ankle anymore, I just jump back off the ladder and take off for the opposite side of the roof. Oh, not bad. You might be able to cut it as one of our girls in the village. I ignore Sizel's murmur of approval and take off running towards my room. What is going on out there? It's so noisy. Freaking dogs. Here I am, running away again. Huddle in the a moonlight corner in my room. I hug myself to try and keep myself from shaking. I expect someone to come for me at any moment, but no one ever does. What if they decide to kill me after all? I'm so scared. I shut my eyes tightly and see my mother and Yahiko reaching out from my memories. With that, I remember why I am here. I'm just going to have to explain myself. Chiding myself internally for shaking, I get to my feet. I open my sliding door, my eyes drawn once again to the moon. Since coming to Kai, I've known the heat of battle and Lord Yukimura's kindness towards others. But I cannot believe that Saizo can be such a bad person if you're... Yukimura trusts him so well. I'm sure he'll help me get back to Kyoto if I just explain things. Of course, I'm terrified, but what else can I do? Taking one last deep breath, I decide finally I should seek out. To be continue. And that's, that's a good part to stop at because I am... I am tired and my legs hurt from sitting so much. Hey, we have a letter. Lord Yukimura has finally found out that you're a woman. Were you headed to escape the worst possible fate? Your death? Well, we'll find out soon. But that was the end of that. And I'm going to go ahead and end it because I don't know what the heck they're doing out in the living room making all that noise. Like, the dogs are barking, kids are yelling out Bobo, what the heck does Bobo mean, I don't even know. Sisters talking, I don't know, boyfriend talking, I don't even know. It's crazy. My life is crazy. Anyways, um, Unreal Matches. Where are you? None of you were there when I woke up. Not you. Kian or Lo Yukimori or even Sensei. You're all so mean. Wake me up next time. Okay. Bye, warriors. Stay off to care.